LeBron, Frank just said a stat said the Clippers were eight for nine on open threes, and you guys were one for sixteen. And just wondered over the course of the game how much you saw that happening as a as a product of the way that both teams were playing, and and how much that contributed to where things. Were I mean, we're coming to the game, we know how great of a uh, three point shooting team they are, and uh, you give them open looks, they're gonna they're gonna knock them down. And we gave them too many open looks, and then once the open looks start going in, they even started making the contested ones too. Um, you know, but they're a great shooting team, and it results in another win for them. Dan. LeBron, what's it been like seeing elements of this team's sort of defensive identity that, that it used to, to win a title, um, that it used to, to really propel itself into the start of last season, to see that kind of get eroded over time? Um, to, I think you guys are 16th right now in the league in defense. Um, what's that been like, kind of that, that process? And, how much does that hurt you guys? Well, I mean, with a Frank Vogel team, you obviously it starts with def uh, defending, and it starts with the point of attack, starts with the point guard position, and then obviously this league is a, a huge pick and roll league. So, um, you know, Biggs being able to, uh, you know, help the guards out, protect with the protect uh, the guards, um, the guards getting back in front of the ball, and the Biggs getting back uh, to be big on Biggs, so we can also rebound the ball when shots go up. But um, obviously. Um, you know, it's been challenging for us this year, um, you know, defensively. We had a lot of breakdowns. We had lost a lot of games because our defenses have broken down. It was also has been because of our offense at times, too. Um, you know, your your offense can, can help your defense. And, you know, when you take a bad shot, so you turn the ball over, or you take a good shot, but it's a long rebound, and you're not getting floor balance, you're not getting back, um, that can affect your defense as well. Okay. Well, what kind of pride factor is there playing a team? I mean, a better team. Kyle? Ron, you guys had that 14-0 run right before halftime, um, and then you know come out with the same lineup, and then Clippers go on their run. Um, you know, Russ was saying that's usually one of our best lineups. Is it frustrating when you feel like you might have an answer with a certain group, or you might have some momentum, and even the same kind of elements don't really catch fire like they did the first half? Uh, I mean, during this losing streak, we've uh, had one quarter that's, that's killed us. And, you know, um, it's been the second quarters. Uh, today's the third quarter. We've been been pretty good in our third quarters, but uh, tonight they ran off 40 on us and we only scored 18. So uh, that's what lost this game. Yeah. LeBron Frank was just asked what the bright spots in this season have been. And, you know, one of the few that you, or one of the couple you cited was just the, the level you're playing at and watching you perform at this level at, at 37. Um, you know, really, everywhere you've gone, you've had success. But what is it like to be you know, putting up the numbers you are, playing at the level you are, you know, at an age probably where maybe not very many people expected it, but for the results to be not just not you're not just not winning at a high level, it's, you know, it's, it's been as bad as it's been? Uh, yeah, I really don't. Um, I mean, I take pride in my in, in the work that I put in. To my craft, I take a lot of pride in that, and uh, I was trying to figure out ways I can be better and and, and trying to improve. And you know, I hated the way at one point during the season I was shooting free throws, and I'm trying to get better with that. You know, and finishing around the rim. Um, lately, my three pointer um, hasn't been um, you know clicking for me. I mean, I had a good third quarter last game, but overall um, hasn't been clicking for me. So I'm always trying to figure out ways I can continue to fine tune my game and. Trying to be the best player I can be out on the floor, um, and from that's from an individual like how I take my personal self. I'm always going to be as great as I can be on the floor. Um, obviously, from a team aspect, I mean it matters absolutely nothing when you're not winning. So that's just that's just who I am. I've won at every at every level, including this level. So um, my mindset hasn't never changed. Uh, you guys have 20 games left, and you're now seven games below 500. How do you wrap your head around that, and how do you get you guys back on track again? You gotta get a win. I don't even look at, the, at this point. I don't even look at the record or the standings. Um, I look at the next opponent, and, and in between days, how you know, what do we not do so well? What do we do well? How can we continue to to push and get a win, and get over the hump?